Smells good, Feech. Man, you want a taste? Nah, I'll wait. No offense, kid, but don't look to me like you do a lot of waiting. Just like his old man, huh? A lot of changes since you went away, huh? 20 years. Right on. You know what the biggest change for me is broad shaving their bushes. I went over to Silvio's, like the Girl Scouts over there. I think I'll let this simmer a bit. Must be different than they can now. Not like the old days. Fucking animals. It's all about setting the precedent. First day there, I walk in a mess. I'm wearing a puss, a fucking scowl. I look around. My nephew. Right in the middle of my story. There he is. The man, the legend, Feech Lamana. Hey, my God, look at you, you big galoot. <laughs> What'd you go straight from the joint to Earl Scheib? Look at this fucking tan. Yeah. <laughs> you closed the cellar door when you came up? It's like the Barry boys in here with this house arrest. You got code words and secret passages. He's in the middle of a story. What isn't he? Hey. <laughs> it's day one. I'm in the mess. I look around, and I spot the biggest, blackest motherfucker that I can find. Everybody's looking at me. And I walk right up to him, and they say, what the fuck are you looking at? He says, what? I said, you heard me, motherfucker. What the fuck are you looking at? And with that, I hit a bam right across the fucking coconut. It goes down. I'm on top of him. Everybody around it, he's getting some shots in. Everybody's going fucking crazy. The screws, this guy's, everybody. Motherfucker. <laughs> From that time on, <laughs> nobody so much as looks at me cross-eyed. <laughs> well, welcome home, huh? Hey, chin down. Welcome home. Yeah, welcome home. <clears throat> Reason I wanted to see you, Junior. Tony, too. Now that I'm out, I'd like to get back in the game. What'd you have in mind? You know me, I'm an entrepreneur. Get my shy going. Sports book, you know, whatever you say. As long as you don't step on anybody's toes. Me? I'm Fred Astaire. Hey, what's this speech tells me? You got a bear up there at the house? What's it, on fucking CNN? No, it's just that your wife's up there and the kids, your ex-wife, whatever. It's just that the wild animals, they're dangerous. People talk. What people? Oh, I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Go up there personally and set fucking bear traps? We're separated, for Christ's sake. <laughs>